Gauteng Education MEC Matume Chilwane is at this hour meeting the family of the deceased learner from the Khalexdal uh, Gauteng's East Rand. This is the school where the teenager died after being stabbed uh, in an altercation with other learners at the school yesterday. Earlier, you would have heard the MEC engaging with pupils alongside parents at that high school and uh, this was to hear the grievances and the challenges faced by that school. Let's get an update now. Our colleague Dumalem Saudi is in the area of Tsakane right now. Dumale, good morning to you. I take it you are at the family home of the deceased learner but uh, earlier quite a highly charged meeting if I could uh, describe it that way at the school. Absolutely, uh, not only highly charged, quite explosive at times as uh, the learners uh, engaged quite robustly uh, with uh, uh, MEC Shirwane, uh, the Gauteng uh, MEC for Education. Uh, and the MEC uh, taking his time to really listen uh, to what the grievances were at times, also intervening as uh, uh, members of uh, the school governing body and uh, uh, the parents uh, as well as members of the staff tried to interject as the learners were expressing and venting uh, their views. Some of the language was quite colorful uh, but then again uh, the MEC really just uh, uh, bringing the, the, the tone and uh, the, uh, the volume and as well as the temperature down but uh, let's move to where we are now and uh, this is a, quite a, a somber atmosphere uh, understandably so this is the family uh, whereby uh, the learner uh, passed away this is uh, the home we are in now Tsakane. Uh, MEC Chilwane, um, firstly um, the message you brought to, to the family uh, thank you. Good morning to your viewers. Um, we were here to pass our heartfelt condolences to the family and really assure them that we are not walking this path alone. It is our child. Uh, we feel what they feel. The pain is a loss to us as well. And really to ensure that we, we will be here from now until we put our our son to rest uh, and, and, and also begin to say that uh, how do we also assist beyond but more importantly there are, should be uh, lessons to be learned from what has happened. Uh, uh, MC, uh, in terms of the engagements with the students, students are uh, raising some serious concerns about uh, uh, the infrastructure at the school, the way they are treated, um, you know, allegedly by staff, uh, the fact that uh, uh, they don't get the kind of attention they require, the way they are, uh, you know, spoken to, uh, maybe even uh, making allegations of uh, verbal abuse uh, by some staff members. Uh, how is this coming into the fall to the issue of uh, uh, the, the violence that uh, has led to uh, this uh, learner uh, passing away? You know, uh, the student, uh, I'm happy that the, the learners express themselves uh, because they are our most important asset in our schools. And uh, it's important that they should be able to say to us what is it that is working for them and what is it is not working for them. Uh, we have heard them. Uh, what I can assure uh, the parents, uh, the learners, as well as uh, the community at large, that they will, will be bringing some serious changes into that school uh, from the leadership, because once the leadership collapses, everything will collapse. Uh, yeah, I was quite disappointed that obviously they, they did name amongst them the acting principal as one of the uh, 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 instigators uh, which is something that uh, the district director have uh, requested that they prepare a report so that we can look into it. Um, because uh, uh, as an educator uh, in a school, you are more than a teacher. You are a parent to the learner. Uh, so we will be looking to bring some changes urgently to the school, but also ensuring that we also go back to the community. We need, we need to then have an engagement with the community as well so that they do, uh, do understand the role that they are playing in the school uh, and to ensure that we defend the school, protect the school and protect our, 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 our learners. Yeah. The infrastructure will get down to it immediately. Uh, for Monday there will be some form of work into that, improving and uh, clearing up and uh, fixing the infrastructure. So there will be some changing drastically <laughs> to the school.
very briefly before bringing the, the, the family here, uh, Mr. MEC, um, it seems these problems uh, you are inheriting in this uh, portfolio. Uh, we know your predecessor also came out to uh, this area when another learner just last year was uh, uh, also involved uh, and, and then killed, uh, this time by um, an official, we believe, uh, you know, who was a, a groundsman at the school, uh, also intervening in, in, in a violent interaction between uh, the learners. Um, what's going to be different now? Um, we were told that at the time there was going to be an uh, education summit where uh, parents and learners were going to be taken to a camp. Um, are these plans going to be implemented or are you starting afresh again? And uh, how far can you go if you're starting from scratch? Uh, in terms of, uh, we, we will be getting that report. But however, what is important what is that what are we going to do as of immediate? Amongst those is to ensure that we secure the school. Uh, they've raised issues of uh, learners bringing weapons into school. We need to begin to search our learners. It's quite unfortunate that we'll have to do that because our schools are not supposed to be uh, sort of a prison. They're not prisons. Uh, but we will have to do that immediately. We'll have to put up security to ensure that there's safety. But also, there'll be a greater monitoring from ourselves, uh, from the district as well, to ensure that teaching and learning starts on time uh, in the school. So, uh, we will do these immediate things that we are going to start doing. But as to for the summit and etc., we will look into it. But more importantly, we need to have an engagement with the community uh, because that's where the problem is. The problem is not within the school. The problem is outside the school. And that's where we must begin to solve the problem. So we will be going, speaking to the community. And we will want the law enforcement agency to start doing their work uh, because of, uh, the parent obviously will express himself. Uh, with, re with regard to amongst that. Mm. So um, that's where we'll be uh, working towards, uh, that the community needs to come on board because they are a significant contributor to the problem into the school. Uh, one is certain that uh, you'll get a, a sympathetic ear because uh, the predecessor I was talking about there is, uh, of course, now the, the premier of Gauteng, uh, Mr. Panyaza Lusufi. But let's talk to the family now. Uh, Baba, can you tell us how are you feeling right now in condolences uh, on your loss? I'm so sad. And I don't know what I can tell you because the justice failed me and failed my son. Because I've done everything to protect my son. I go to the police, they never work, they never help me. I don't know what you can say. But I'm so sad. And I'm even not sad, I'm broken. That's the inside. I don't know what I can say. Yeah. What, what, kind of, uh, what kind of boy or what kind of child was he? Uh, what did he mean to his community and to your family? He uh, was a good boy. Maybe tomorrow will be the MEC like this man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I can say everyone loves him. Mm -hmm. No one hates him. He was a good child. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a mass. Yeah, I don't know. But I love him so much. I don't know what I can do. But if the system will, was working for us, maybe my child will be still alive. Because uh, no one helped me, even the school itself. I was going to school every two months. Every, every entry, like, two weeks or two months, I'll be there at school. But uh, nothing. They didn't help me until my child was dead. Yeah, maybe they were waiting for that. If the, another child was there, then they can make a... Maybe they can make an action or something, I don't know. Yeah, but now I lost. I like I lost the whole world. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe if someone deep can hear me, maybe can do something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah but I thank to the MEC and the councillors to come and to my condolence. Thank you. As you emerged, uh, Baba, we didn't ask you uh, for, for your name. Uh, I'm Sian Mashal. Yes, the name my son is Sean Impel. Yes. How old is Sean Impel? 18. 18 years. Is he your only child? He's my first child. Yes, I, I, I have four, child, four children. Then he's the first one. Yes. Was, was he someone who was looking forward to his future? 18. Uh, he was on the verge of. Uh, uh, entering adulthood, um, someone maybe you uh, had high hopes for? It was an already one adult. The, uh, on Wednesday, I shared the last meal with him. He cooked for me rice and and uh, mixed meat. He cooked nice food. The gas, the, the electricity, 
when the electricity goes down, we wait until 10 o'clock. Then we cook uh, that meat to be all right. Then we eat. After 12, we go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I gave him the money to, to eat the school. It was last time I see him, until I see him down. I don't know. Baba, what would be... I don't know. 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 I Maybe government contains, but if we if we snag, we are born. But what is not is now when the corner abang a fish would be right, but corner by fish are would be right. We be able to touch the other corner. When they are when they are even at school, we are born to be one. There's a racial inside. There's the people they don't like each other. Yeah, Leon Dole is from even community itself. I came there to the school last year. I found the the the, the some of the parents they talking with the, the black people they are not wanted on the school. They must build another school in Khelestal uh, if they want the black people uh, black people to, to, to learn there. Yeah, we are not supposed to come to the Khelestan because the Zakani has uh, many uh, schools. Why we come to Khelestan? Because it's the school that is only have the Africans and English. There's no other school around Zakan. Then with that is why we took our child to the Khalista. Then they don't want us there because we are black. Do you, do you regret um, having taken the decision, even though it was a decision for your child's own uh, future and uh, uh, seeking a better education? I perhaps? regret so much because even last, last two weeks back, I was at school. Then I asked Miss David to uh, type the, the, the last reports for my child. Then I can go and look for at least a college or something to my child to go. I was running the whole week to look around for the school. Until the Springs College, they replied me yesterday when my child was already gone. I don't know. Mr. Missy, perhaps you can come in here just very quickly. Uh, the issue of racism or allegations of racism is quite serious uh, in a, a non-racial and democratic South Africa. In fact, racism uh, is uh, now considered a crime. Um, these are allegations that um, have been brought forward and it seems it's not the first time what more can be done in terms of investigations yes but ensuring that those investigations yield a result that ensures this doesn't happen and uh, what can we expect in terms of uh, the law coming in yeah, no. <clears throat> as I said that obviously we will be looking into getting the reports to act because what is important is that we have a responsibility to unite, our, to unite society at large and uh, <clears throat> uh, I did express my disappointment when I was speaking to the learners and the parents that we can't be dealing with racism after, you know, uh, so many years into democracy. But uh, those are serious allegations and they are not going to be taken lightly. Uh, the area that we'll be focusing on is the critical perpetrators who are within our own ambit. If it's educators, we need to have to act. Uh, as we've said, it is a crime. If it's our, uh, if it's a school leadership, school governing body will have to act. So where we are able to act, we will act. Uh, but more importantly, like I've always said, the community is where the problem is at the at the heart of everything that we have challenges of within our schools. And that's, those are the people that I really want to come and really assist us to get this thing uh, right. Uh, it's quite sad that their parents were actually leading this thing of, 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 of disruption, divisions, uh, and the learners were very, were very eloquent when they said that the problem lies with the parents. Some of the learners, uh, their parents are the ones who are, uh, are pushing or telling their kids that these divisions are normal and it's not true. So we will, we will unite the school. Uh, we will unite the school parent body, uh, but we also will act on those that we find uh, guilty of, uh, of perpetuating these particular divisions. Uh, MC, for Gauteng Education, Matumechilwane, uh, they're giving us an overview. 
and of course a very emotional parent there uh, just detailing and remembering uh, the type of child that he has lost and uh, you could see that with the tears streaming down his eyes uh, very moved and uh, um, it's quite a difficult uh, sight to behold as well uh, as he details just uh, how uh, he feels that uh, um, with a child lost it's just uh, unbearable for him and his family and something that he has uh, detailed to the provincial government in the form of uh, MEC uh, Chilwani there. So uh, this is the latest as it stands and uh, we will continue to monitor the story and the uh, MEC from here is uh, going to go back to the drawing board as he mentioned and to try find a lasting solution and to take all those views and uh, of course uh, what has been uh, communicated to him both by the grieving family and by the learners in terms of the myriad of challenges surrounding this education crisis out here in the far east end of Gauteng. With that, it's back to you in the studio. Tumalum Saudi, thank you very much for that update.